Hi, I'm Jake Reichbart. Today I'd like to share with you some samples from some very recent DVD lessons that I have available to accompany some of my performances on YouTube. A couple words about my channel first. I've been here for a couple of years posting solo guitar arrangements of very popular songs. The response has been wonderful. It's been great to be able to reach new audiences. And along the way, people have been asking, how do you perform your arrangements? Well, I decided instead of trying to answer the question of how do you play guitar, which a lot of people do and do quite well, I'll simply post lessons or create lessons that show how I play my specific arrangements. And from that, you can learn a lot and create your own, possibly. And I decided to do a really thorough job at it, where each lesson, each song, takes up a, a DVD of up to two hours in length. Most are in the hour and a half range. And that means that I take a long, a very long time to show every note that I play, uh, string number, finger number, fret number, basically everything. And uh, whereas I've posted some samples before, which were fun, and you can see here, my recent uh, lessons are in widescreen now, and uh, especially against this black backdrop, I've been able to zoom in the neck from corner to corner, and you can see the fingerboard and the hands and just about nothing else, and I can really focus on, on the fingerings. So that's what you're going to see a little bit later in this video, uh, because if you're going to order, of course you want to know, well, what do these DVDs look like, and what is the level of, what is the quality of the teaching that is provided. So that's what you're going to be able to see today. How do you order? Well, it's very simple. You send me an email. That's the best way. There is no ordering forms. I enjoy communicating with anybody who sends me an email. And my email address is this. Just send me an email and I will reply. What is the selection available? There's a little arrow down here where you can expand the window and you'll see a complete list of DVDs that are available to purchase uh, directly from me. And uh, once again, each DVD uh, with few exceptions, actually. Uh, each DVD focuses on one song. There are a couple of exceptions. My Michael Jackson duo, there's two songs per DVD, so that's a bonus. And also my Hall & Oates DVD has two songs on it. In just a moment, I will show some samples from these uh, DVDs. But just before I do that, a lot of people have been asking me about this blue tape, so I just want to take a second here to show you what, what this is. Hardly any big mystery. This piece of blue tape is simply covering a hole. Uh, the pickup that was here, I moved it over here, and the reason I did that because the pickup that was here broke. I play quite hard sometimes with my right hand, and it literally broke. I just moved the pickup over, and to cover the hole, I just used some blue tape. Not very elegant, but at least it's, at least it's blue. Uh, moving on, I also have a Fishman transducer pickup on the bridge right here, uh, which I used to get a little bit of an acoustic sound. And that runs into a little preamp that's right here. It's a Star Labs preamp, the same people who make the Zetar. And that is powered by a 9-volt battery, which is attached with some Velcro over here. Uh, and the output from the acoustic pickup is right here. And the output from the regular pickup is still at the bottom, uh, at the, the normal place. And you'll be surprised to hear that the ratio that I use is about 99% of the regular pickup and just 1%, uh, maybe even less, I suppose, uh, from the acoustic pickup. So most of the body of the sound is still from the neck pickup with just a little bit of an acoustic sparkle to help uh, with the note definition at the beginning uh, from, from this pickup. So that's uh, the big mystery solved, the big non-mystery, I guess. Well, anyway, here are those samples. Uh, get your guitar and sit down, and hopefully you will enjoy these samples. Once again, send me an email, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so. Plenty more videos to come. Thank you. As you have uh, probably noticed, there is a big stretch. And what I do here is try to play F major chord and achieve that keyboard movement. But what I wanted to do is to get a, an effect of the two notes ringing together and overlapping. And I could do so by playing the E on the second string and the F on the first string. And then I attach a F major 9 at the bottom. So I play with my first finger a bar across all the strings on the first fret, but only play the F here and the F here. 
And then with my pinky, I get the rest of the chord, which is really a C triad. The notes are G, C, and E. I play those with my pinky by kind of bending it a little bit like that. Creating a little arc there that underneath it you can still play the F on the first string and while still playing the bass at the bottom. So in totality all the first the first five notes are F, G, C, E, and F. So And you notice what I did now, the next bass note is an open A, and I play that in a rhythmically appropriate spot for a bass note, as I explained in the introduction. So, one, two, three, four. Even though the melody was syncopated, I made sure to play the bass as, as a bass player would. At this stage, the components of the chord are the same, except that I switched to the three in the bass now, which is the A. Now I further, my next chord is the same chord notes, but now with B flat in the bass, so it's some kind of a B flat major sharp 11. And after I play this twice, I bring in the pinky a step down, two frets, to play now what is essentially just a basic B flat major chord. Notes are B flat, F, B flat, and D. As I may have mentioned in the introduction, I play the song in the key of D, and there are pickup notes, which theoretically, if they were to be harmonized, they would be harmonized with kind of a A suspended. five going to the one. That's the simplified sound, but in this case it's more of a suspension. And the position that I play is a bar on the fifth fret, with my first finger. I play the, well I, at this time I don't play yet the D or the A, but I, my finger is a bar in that position. And in addition, I also play the notes A and D on strings 4 and 3, fret number 7. Again, fingers uh, uh, 3 and 4 on strings 4 and 3, fret number 7. The notes are A and D. And under the first finger, I have the E note on the second string, 5th fret. Later on in the song, there may be an occasion where, where I'm going to play this A. So I'm kind of used to that position, so I, st I kind of stick with that. But those are the, th are the pickup notes before the, the downbeat comes in. This is a plain... When I say plain, I don't mean that it's simple to play but rather that musically it's a, just a simple triad. Only three notes in it, one is doubled. It is a D triad. The notes are D with my pinky on the fifth string, fifth fret, F sharp, fourth string, fourth fret, A, first finger, third string, second fret, and another D on top on the second string, uh, third fret. So, I play this D note several times as the lyrics indicate. The second, uh, or the, the new different note that will occur, that B note is achieved by taking my second finger, which is holding down the D on the second string, releasing it to the, to the B, enabling me to sustain the remaining notes replacing it back to on the D. 